Hi, I'm Peter, and I'm going to teach you about the history of rats in film through a series of animations. Now bear with me, these animations will be simple, but I'll try to keep it as entertaining as possible. Okay, so rats. They're rodents, and pretty much ever since the beginning of their coexistence with humans, they've been considered pests. This is due to events like the rat floods, and them being a main carrier of diseases beginning with the bubonic plague way back when. It's no surprise that the way humans have thought about them translates very well over to their representation of the film, from the very early rat films to now. Though I'm not like focusing on those types of films, i.e. the rat films, but rather their portrayal in fictional films. Rats are represented as pests as much in film as they are in real life. They very much have negative portrayals, minor antagonists, obstacles, or just as vile and gross creatures. Films like The Princess Bride, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and Willard all follow this trope of rats as squeaky, annoying animals. Though these representations are not entirely accurate, in fact, rats are not squeaky or aggressive in nature. So why have they been portrayed this way? Well, obviously rats are pests and can be considered an invasive species, but I think their early involvement in disasters like the bubonic plague and rat floods inspired the early representations of them in myths and other works of fiction. These early representations became so ingrained in these types of works that they've been perpetrated the antagonistic view of rats that still holds up today. Now, their representation hasn't always been antagonistic with newer films like Ratatouille. This is a film which, while accurately depicts humans' view of rats, attempts to thwart their normal representation in favor of a more positive light. And maybe because of the massive success of Ratatouille, rats will garner a more positive representation in the future. Or not. Only time will tell.